Hey everybody, welcome to November 30th. It's Tuesday. And I'm gonna keep going with this flow I got of some morning messages for you and for me. It took me a while to get set up today. I don't know why it was so difficult, but it was. Regardless, we are here, and we're going to get to it. I'm going to use a different deck today. This is the Northern Animal Tarot. Look how pretty. So this is a, an artist deck from Canada. And I just learned that, you know, this, like many artist decks, was made possible via things like Kickstarter, where they fundraise to create their decks. And uh, so I bought it this year, over the summer, and now they're already coming out with a second edition deck. So how cool is that? Um, I'll post a link if you want to get your own Northern Animal Tarot and support local artists. Okay. Let's see where we go. Here and now, this is a card I'm getting a lot. Here and now. In the reverse, so it's a it's about being stuck in a mindset of thinking about the future or worrying worrying about the future or having regrets about the past. So say we all, you know, I've got things like that. I'm sure, everyone's got things like that. Hmm. But it's asking you to be here and in, in, be present in the moment. See what blessings are right in front of you. A new start is coming, new moon. So, eek. a new start is coming. There's also a new moon coming on Saturday, December 4th, which is also lining up with a solar eclipse in Sagittarius. So, um, I'll say about that, this new start is coming means that it's time to clear the decks, so to speak, as in finally putting something behind you so that you can start fresh. Um, what's part of your new start? Um, but that doesn't, it, it, it's more saying from a place of not worrying about the future, not thinking about the future, but what needs to be done right now to usher in this new start. What can you do today? How, how is who you are today preparing you for the future? Abstract. Look at the bigger picture. This is not about getting into the details right now, but the bigger picture of where your life is headed. That's really nice. Um, abstract also comes with the message that um, you know, inspiration can come from anywhere, but that also, like, things don't need to make sense in order for them to be real. In a way, like, if you think about the way that music is created or that, like, really intense math problems are solved, they can come to us in dreams. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have to come from a logical place or, like, where you would normally look. 
Hmm. A new start is coming, but it's not coming from where you would expect. I sort of sense that there's like an opportunity coming that is not surface level. So if you're not paying attention right now, it may, you may not see it for what it is, this new start. I feel like with abstract, it's also asking you to sort of take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Um, don't do things because they feel good in the moment. Um, do what's best for long term. got card flippers let's not let's not go there today although I did see the page of swords the page of swords someone wanting to come in all right showing up as justice five of swords yeah so things wanting to fall into a balanced state, wanting to balance things out. Also, maybe this is a time of holding people situations accountable. The five of wands um, and then fall, hibernation. I forgot to mention that this deck has some shadow cards and has some special cards within the deck in, alongside the traditional rider weight. So this is autumn, fall. Uh, one of the four seasonal cards. This deck also has shadow cards and the phases of the moon. So fall is about um, hibernation, assessment, sort of collecting, um, and just seeing where you're at. That's the that's the challenge. I feel like if you are moving into a more balanced state, like finally seeing the truth of a matter. Um, and your challenge is to, or not challenge, but in wanting to become more balanced, you're like hibernating and, and um, sort of collecting information and, and seeing how far you've come and what else needs to be done. Then your challenge or this opposing energy that's showing up here is the five of wands, which is, I think, other people's opinions. You might be having to like sift through the noise in order to see truly what's in front of you. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly as, wow. Wow. Uh, how you got here, the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is about perseverance. It's sort of like you're at the last stage of something coming to completion. Um, this tells me that um, some of you might be tired. Some of us might be a little bit tired from fighting this battle. That's for sure. But what's underneath is the Queen of Wands. As in the energy of, I'm going to get it done. Queen of Wands is also the Witch of the Tarot. So she has her means. You know, she has her ways of getting uh, what she wants. Not necessarily in like a manipulative sense, but just that she's very inspired and she has her own motives. She knows why. She knows what she's fighting for. She's very inspired and has the potential to inspire others. And she's very connected to her intuition as well. So uh, what I see here is that this is definitely a battle for some sort of um, autonomy. And if not autonomy, it's, it's about 
standing in your truth and fighting or resisting other people's opinions in the sense that um, maybe what other people think is true and and um, what other people may see as balanced or true for them it's not necessarily the case for you or you know for us as individuals each each person individually I see more patience. I see more, I see the desire to expand and to grow, but it's also sort of waiting. You're sort of waiting for the right moment to strike here. And until then, it's like hibernation, meditation, just taking a step back. So going from the Four of Swords to the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is, you know, movement uh, with truth. Hmm. It's almost like you know you have to take a step back from this. It's almost like don't fight other people's opinions right now. Like, you may be having to listen to it or deal with it, but... Um, Cognitive, like you, what you know to be true is that you need to take a rest from accepting what other people are saying. This is taking a rest and see how they're, the five of wands are sort of like fighting each other, but the wands are not swords. There's no like malice or intention to hurt here. It's just that it's just people's ideas. It's like, keep it to yourself, honestly. Keep it to yourself. Anyways, this is extremely positive what's happening here because in the advice or the outcome, we have the full moon, the ten of swords, ace of pentacles, and the devil. Look how beautiful that is. So this is one of the phases of the moon cards and what we know about the full moon is that it's a very powerful time for releasing. And the ten of swords is all about release from... Um, you know, really painful situations. The Ten of Swords is finally coming out of the pain and any kind of destructive cycle. Let it go. Maybe that's what this here and now is saying is, you know, stop living in the past of, of the, in terms of like if things have hurt you in the past and you're trying to be present and have this new beginning, but you're just not, um, you can't be totally here and now if you, keep, if you keep up this cycle of pain. It's in the past. It's time to let it go. Because then what's coming immediately afterwards is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is this new is the new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles, new moon, new start is coming. Hell yeah. It's a very good sign. But it's time to look at the bigger picture as dictated by the card abstract. And finally we have the devil card. This is Capricorn energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or an Earth sign. The Ace of, Ace of Pentacles is here again, so that's big earth energy. The devil is all about things that we're bound to, the things that we're tied to. Um, it could allude to, you know, codependency. It could, it, you know, not necessarily, but it is all the things that we sort of do out of um, habit or out of feeling obligation in some sense or we're doing it because it feels good and, and it's not necessarily healthy the devil is also pleasure and things like this so take it how it resonates i'd like to think that if this is if this is a new opportunity then it's about 
making sure you move forward in this new energy without being bound to your past. Don't let your past dictate your future. Absolutely not. All right, I will close it out with just five, five cards as advice. What is some advice? You know, what? I'll just grab a new deck because I want to be fresh about it. Let's do it. So, yeah, anyway, to recap, this is about finding out what's true for you. Absolutely. Um, there's no cups here, so this isn't necessarily something um, emotional, or maybe the fact that it's missing says something about needing to balance that out by bringing some of your emotions into the mix. Um, maybe not being honest about how you feel. I, I, I see here lots of cognitive and sort of um, inspirational activity. You know, fire and air, fire and air. And then the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity for something to, be, for something to become real. But if what's being hit, if what's hidden here is the cups, which is our emotional side, um, I think the devil showing up is evidence that our emotions are somewhere else. Our emotions are stuck in the past or stuck on the future. In the present, it's very easy to say, I know that I am separating my thoughts from the thoughts of others, but is that changing how you feel or is that is that really bringing to surface how you truly feel hmm all right some advice to ease transition queen of swords discernment three of wands again uh planning or waiting waiting because wheel of fortune is here page of cups two of pentacles yeah this is a lot of waiting. This is a lot of what can I manage in the meantime? Um, there is a message here of listen, you know, listen. But the page of cups is the only cups that showed up so far. Interesting. So the, um, we have action to ease transition is the queen of swords. Queen of swords is smart business moves or... Um, discernment, carrying one's truth, um, action, or sorry, the support here is the three of wands. There is an expansive energy um, that's coming in that I think um, if the new start is coming, the three of wands is about um, being ready for it, I say. Someone here is definitely ready for this new beginning. What you will gain, the wheel of fortune. A new cycle. Yep. Something to let go of. The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is sometimes referred to as expect the unexpected. Um, the Page of Cups here could also be um, if it's something to let go of. I mean, it could be somebody, uh, somebody else's energy saying, well, um, this could be somebody else's energy, as in a, a small love offer. It's not significant, it's something small. And I think it's just small enough that it pales in comparison to what you're actually working on. Um, that this spread is alluding to, as in like finding your truth, bringing yourself back into balance, assessing what you've done so far and um, Going after the things that you really feel truly passionate about. You're not going to entertain a page of cups. <laughs> I feel so. Take it as it resonates. 
And finally, a message to you from your higher self. Yes, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is about, it is another balance card, but it's, it's more of a balance card as in like, you know, you have these things um, in front of you. Um, you the, these could be like opposing forces, opposing situations that you're sort of delicately balancing. And while you may be able to handle balancing these things, it's not sustainable, is what the message is here. So don't be entertaining, Page of Cups. Don't take on anyone, don't take on anyone's energy that isn't suiting your higher good, highest good at this time. Here we have the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands again. It's like other people's opinions. Um, Maybe people who want to come in and, and try to change you or offer you something, thinking it's going to help. It's not helpful, I don't think. You are ready for this new beginning, and it's up to you to discern, to be ultra discerning. The Queen of Wands is also about boundaries. So, that's what I got. Setting, I see setting healthier boundaries. I see not so much caring what other people think. I see a, a lot of inspiration and go get itness. Someone just wants to go for it here. Someone wants to go towards what feels true and balanced for them. If this is for you, congratulations. This feels really good. Don't let don't let other people sway you here, especially. Especially not this page of cups. Fuck them. Take care, guys.